removed the car from the home this morning. Now they're cleaning up what's left of the garage and sunroom. Crews carefully removed the mangled BMW from the home, revealing the enormous amount of damage left behind. This is a scene Caitlin Tam says will haunt her forever. If he did not correct his ways beforehand, I would have been in that house. Tam was driving the opposite way on Hubble Avenue when she described seeing Caius Davenport's car speeding toward her van sideways. She guesses he was going between 70 and 90 miles per hour and a 35 mile per hour zone. It was too late to swerve. I felt the van move, the back end move, actually, and that's the part that scared me the most. She's thanking God for not being hurt. Her van only has minor scratches. Tam was stunned to see where the BMW ended up. I'm not blaming anyone, um, so I was sad. No one should lose their life like that. Tam's among several people telling me drivers go too fast on this stretch of Hubble. I've tried to put, get, uh, radar put up to slow them down a little bit. It's just, it's ridiculous. Larry Peterson is pushing the city to put up some sort of barrier between the busy road and their homes. Des Moines police telling me excessive speed appears to be at least one contributing factor in this deadly accident. I just want the people to slow down. Peterson's willing to sue the city if nothing is done to improve the safety along this stretch of Hubble Avenue in Des Moines. Kim St. Ange, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.